Hello, Mario. Subdivision design, 32, road 1. In this video, I'm going to run the templates that I created previously, or the typical template, down the previously created alignment for road 1. So we're going to make a start on that and let's get cracking. So the first thing that we're going to do with that is to create a what we call an MTF which is a multiple template file. Design MTF create and the MTF I'm going to create is for road 1 we have to be very careful with the naming of these functions, but in this case here, this is not a function, this is an MTF. And so that doesn't overlap with the functioning number name. So I'm going to call it road 111. Okay, and the center line that I'm going to choose is road 1, except, and you can see there, and then that will create okay and then we've got to create some templates or oh, we've got to input the templates for this so we're going to do the left side which at this stage I'm just going to go 0 enter 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 999 enter I'm going to come back to here and choose road typical okay and I'm going to do the same for the right we will come back later on and adjust these to allow for the intersection. So again, at 0 and 9999 or whatever. And in there, road typical. Apply. Okay. I'll just check that we've got templates for the left side. I just wanted to check that. That's all good. Okay. Yep. All right. So we'll save and finish that at this stage there. Okay. And save. Okay. Now we're going to um, set up or run that MTF file down the alignment just to get things underway. So design, apply, apply many now this might be a little bit different in version 11 i'm using version 10 here in version 11 this will be slightly different but not too much different and the differences are not huge now the function for this one here we'll keep it the same as the mtf and it'll be road one 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 and push enter and that populates everything and it populates with the and the with the MTF file as you can see here. Here's the tin that we're using, which is tin ground, and the left hand side prefix and the right hand side prefix. And then we choose the string or the, the alignment that we're running it down. We didn't choose anything there. Okay, and that's road one, that's all very good. And there's our report file. Uh, the section separation is 10. Oh, we'll try it at five, just, just, just to be different. Okay, uh, these here are the models that it will run. Um, it's creating a boxing layer. I'm not sure whether we need that at this stage or not, but um, oh well, we'll leave that like that. Miscellaneous. That's all good. The tin. Uh, at this stage, we won't create a road tin. And we can always come back. These, these stay set up as functions. So we can always come back and rerun it to add things. Site distances, filter. These are, at this stage, we'll just leave that black. We'll just keep it basic. And, okay, just go apply. And it's run those strings 
and there's all of the strings there have been run um, apparently because the models um, so it's run all those strings because um, I didn't delete the models previously um, it's put all of those models in there for road road one so that's defeated the this it may sometimes it doesn't always do that so it may be necessary to run the model or to add the models to the view but um, there's our view there and so it's run all those strings um, obviously I've been through and practiced this to make sure it works now <clears throat> the, the situation is of course that we know that through these curb returns here, this road is not typical because that's not going to happen. So what we have to do is we actually have to remove the strings on the right-hand side um, between this point here and this point here. And so we do that in our MTF file. So let's uh, <coughs> uh, go to the MTF file, but... I'll just turn what I'll what I'll do is turn off the strings for um, road road one strings. So I'll just turn them off in this view, just to make things a little bit easier. All right. So now we go to design and to the MTF, and we're going to edit this MTF here, and we're going to edit the templates on the right hand side. So what we're going to do is we're obviously going to have to input these two points here. So I'm just going to click on there and just um, input below. Now this first point here, we need to get a view on that. And what we do is we just right click in here, right click, and then we just making sure that we have got our point snaps on and we'll just snap to the end of that point there and that is put that value uh, into the thing in, into our little table there and then we click on this one here go to this one here accept and just make sure that that's the right hand side template now, so it's going to go road typical from there to there, and then there'll be no template, and then road typical starts back up again. Select. Okay. Uh, we can go apply. Okay. All right. So now let's go back here, and we'll save that. Okay. And I'll just turn on the strings for road one again. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll just go design, apply, apply mini. And we'll run this function again. And voila! There we have the strings and sections removed for that piece. As we can see, the center line here, the, well, the strings and sections will be fine on this side, but going through there, things are going to change. And obviously, when we come up to do road two, um, we're going to have to do a similar thing for road two through this intersection and this intersection. And then when we do road three, um, we're going to come through the intersection and, and up to the start of the cul-de-sac head. Remembering that at the centre line, the alignment will, will stay true. So, there we have it. We have um, applied the information to the first, um, the first one there, first road. So we're going to finish this video here. <clears throat> and in the next video, we'll be looking at road two and then road three and getting them all sorted up. So plenty of opportunities to observe what goes on there. Cheers. See you.